Welcome to Wise Beyond Bitcoin, where you come for the crypto neo news, education, and opportunities. My name is Lucas. My name is Ryan. And we got some education to share, some news on why the IBC seems to rally. Uh, and of course, we're going to talk about some interoperability, some progress that's been going there. We have a lot of playlists to go over that describes these things in detail, but we're going to kind of get right into this to start with. This is not financial advice. It's not commercial legal advice. This is just education, entertainment. It's our research. And we, you know, we've spent some years in crypto and blockchain and some years before that in markets and economics. So we try to tie it all together and share that and we make our mistakes. So make sure to do your own research yeah. and make your own mistakes. But beyond that, hopefully we share some perspectives that will add some value to your understanding and to your journey as we all learn this new technology, this emerging technology together and help guide it so that it can be used in the most efficient and harmonious ways to make the world a better place as we see the potential for this. And, you know, I love coming back to this website because every time we check it out, there's usually one or two new projects that I get to learn about. And I see Altered Carbon, which is a cool name. And uh, that's something I have to check out. Excited to see what they're doing. Um, but beyond that, this is the coolest place in crypto, in my view. Uh, it's, when we first started getting into this, it was a smaller, a much smaller ecosystem. Uh, you had Osmosis and Cosmos, Juno, Secret, a few others. Um, you know, Persistence was there, and but there's been so much, so much growth um, in the last few months. So much development on the chains between the chains, and it's just really an exciting place to see a new. It's a definitely a new and emerging spot in blockchain, in the middle of a of a of a world that's had so much development on so many other chains, right? That have, that have kind of, it's happened and they've created all this interoperability, but the IBC's kind of been alone. It's, it's been a separate, right? And we've, and we're, this is kind of one of our big themes, but that's what's changing is that the, the links between the DeFi EVM world and the IBC, that's, they're starting to be built and, and it's exciting times. And uh, to that point, the Cosmos Tendermint ecosystem is not something that just popped up out of nowhere. This computer language and this concept, the IBC network has been in development for many, many years, but because of the, the nature, the dynamic nature and how you see how interoperable it is from its foundation, it took more time to build out in order to get these other chains up and running. Whereas Ethereum, having been the older smart contract platform, many, many protocols could copy paste fork and do similar, you have what's called other EVM chains. And this is just, it's a different network. It's a different computer language. That being said, what, what, you, what Ryan was just talking about, this is our big theme. There is a lot of value. When you look at Ethereum, the largest smart contract platform in blockchain alone, right? The market cap of, what is it now? 321 billion. Okay. Yeah. It's a large number. And, and then below that, you've got Binance, which is another EVM. And that's, uh, you scroll down now, Lunaterra has come up and we'll, we'll talk about that later, but S Solana, Avalanche, you look at many of the, the large smart contract blockchains and they're, they are EVM, right? They're EVM yes. chains. And that means Bitcoin, wrapped Bitcoin. That means UST, USDC, USDT, stable coins, whatever, whichever kind of MIM that you have that. We wrapped Ether. You have a lot of value locked up on these chains. Now, most yeah. people, they can swap Uniswap, SushiSwap from EVM chains to go from one to another is, is not that difficult, correct? That's correct. Yeah, that's that's relatively easy. But to go from an EVM chain to Atom, to Cosmos, or to Osmosis, that's been something that, for the most part, for the last many months and years, has not been in design. Has not been easy. Right. You you couldn't do it on your own in your own, in your MetaMask wallet. You would have had to go through a centralized third party, right, an exchange, whether it's you know. Coinbase or KuCoin or whatever you Binance use or whatever right 
you'd have to find one. Maybe they would have Adam or Luna. Maybe they'd have a couple. And from that, you'd have to figure out a way to come over to osmosis or the ecosystem and acquire Juno. So right. the idea is that there's a lot of value on Ethereum, these EVM chains. I think we had a couple websites to pull up. So you look at the DeFi, because we've been covering DeFi for, for a while and the, the idea of how to support decentralized finance with providing liquidity, LP tokens, farming, the, the impermanent loss, how these things work. We've got a video on that coming as well soon if you'd like to learn more about impermanent loss and why not to be worried about it. But you'll notice that on, on these list of chains, these are EVM chains, Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Polygon, Avalanche, Phantom, Harmony One, not Kronos. Although maybe I'm, uh, I should do more research on that. Maybe Kronos has a, an EVM side to it, although that's part of the IBC. Now we've got, right. we've got Moon River, Moonbeam, Arbitrum, Optimism. And the idea is that these are predominantly EVM chains. You don't see the IBC ecosystem represented at the moment. Right. You don't see Osmosis or Cosmos or any of those, right? Correct. And this is some of the value. You look at the larger DeFi protocols in the past. Now, if you're over on Ethereum right now, you're, you're back in the day, you might have had fun using Aave, Curve Finance, Uniswap. The reality is these applications are no longer practical in Ethereum. A everyone in DeFi knows that unless you're a whale moving large amounts, they're just not practical. They're not practical at all. And it's a pipe dream as to when, if it will ever become practical again. It could just be right. Uh, maybe back in the day, people remember when Ethereum you know, was usable. It was usable. Yeah. Anybody. <laughs> But yeah. at the moment, that's why you have these other chains and outlets. So there's a lot of pent up value and people are aware of what yield optimizers, DEX aggregators, what, what these protocols can accomplish, but a chain for them to be able to do this freely is, is and efficiently and efficiently, right. Yeah. It's not easy to find. However, we come back over to the map of zones and where we really wanted to take a look as we're seeing the beginning, not only of an emergence of utility and value. You know, we love to be a, a hub for secret network updates and we have a lot of playlists. We'll get to that later, but that's a layer one privacy foundation for applications that you just cannot build on any of the EVM chains or even any public chain. Right. Now, all of these have a direct access ability in the IBC to come connect with Secret and have that privacy application where they can connect and, and build, build something that they would like to without an intermediary, without that third party risk. It's just right through the computer language. They can take the time to build that channel and make it happen. So That's right. this, this is security. This is resilience. This is redundant. Interoperability. Interoperability. These are the things that in decentralization, these are the things that you would like to see in blockchain and crypto, kind of what it's all about in many ways. So, And there's one more thing that you're seeing that you like to see in crypto. This space has been rallying in a moment when the broader crypto space has either been flat or selling off. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the other parts of this, this theme is that, yes, the bridges are being built to the EVM world. And because of that, there is liquidity running, rushing in towards this space because it's been difficult to get to as we just discussed so and and we're seeing that there's a lot of price little very uh, positive price action and in, in part in spots on the ibc and it's not it's not a uh, coincidental it happens to be on some of the more innovative and dynamic and and awesome parts of the ibc juno is is comes to mind there uh the last 30 days if you scroll down you'll see the percentage 34 percent in the last 30 days i mean that's and that's in a time when everything else is down anywhere from six to 10 plus percent, you know, other, I mean, look at Bitcoin, it's down almost 6% in that same time period. Let's look at Bitcoin and know yeah. that right now, and we, we've got a playlist. We talk about airdrops, the IBC, Juno, there are a lot of airdrops where the community is receiving a lot of support from the developers and the team. That's right. And it's just, it's a hotbed of marketing directed towards the community. Whereas 
typically marketing gets you know thrown out and funds get thrown out and they see what comes back in value and in the ibc cosmos ecosystem a lot of teams and developers in these blockchains have come out and said if you stake support provide liquidity participate vote we're guaranteeing you that we're going to reward you because we want people part of decentralized finance and blockchain we want people who are involved we're not trying to reward right. whales or or centralized exchange addresses we they have some of the most innovative airdrops let's go to that 30-day chart while i talk they have the most innovative mm -hmm. airdrops that actually have steps in order for you to earn all the airdrops you have to vote you have to stay you have to do this and do that so they make it to make to where it rewards those who are paying attention or, and are adding value and are there. Okay, so that's right. 30 days down 7%. That's Bitcoin. And yes. we can go further. So Juno has a lot being built on it. Another one we were going to pull out. Osmosis. Osmosis. Secret our, Network's our down. Favorite... Oh, go Secret ahead. Secret Network's down a bit uh, right now, but it's been up at a high. And the point is, is that there's a lot of development happening right now. And one of the things about prices being irrational in the short run, you also, in times of consolidation, want to be aware of what projects have a lot of activity and development. And we have so many playlists is if you don't know, then you oh. will. But Secret yes. Network has a lot of unique applications being built, adding a lot of value to blockchain. That's it just Yes, so it's it's amazing how many how much innovative uh, how the NFT space on Secret is probably the most exciting. Um, we we talk yeah, about that all the time. Alter Jackal, you know, uh, yeah. Secret DAO, you know, many things happening. So we'll get to that. But up six point seven percent now. Osmosis, shucks, that's one of our that's our how to provide liquidity in blockchain and crypto video many many months ago. Uh, we'll pull that back up. That's we use osmosis and we we come to that all the time. Why? Because what makes osmosis so unique and so fun compared to all the other AMM DEXs that people are used to free see? exchanges? I mean, it's literally free to, to swap from one token to another. It's amazing. Uh, it's unlike anything else in crypto. Here we go. So and it's and it's reliable. It's it's uh, it's quick. It's it's easy to use. It's uh, user friendly. There's it's really nothing else. Uh, no other exchange Dex, you know, is is like this. And you can literally deposit whatever tokens you have from other chains, All bring them on wallet. to Osmosis right out of your Kepler wallet, and then you just go right a hit click trade, and you can swap from any to, to the others, and then withdraw them right back to your Kepler wallet. So it's it's really um, it's a great resource for the IBC. It's it's my it's the exchange on the IBC. It really is. And that's why you'll see the value going up. If we say free exchanges. We literally mean free. You can have no osmosis, send something there and be able. And that's, you know, in DeFi and crypto, that's a big deal. Because how many times have you been involved in a project and found out, oh, man, I need a faucet. I don't have any gas. I, yeah, I need a faucet. Gas. Yeah. I, I know right. I've hit you up numerous times. Hey, hook me up with some, or you're some gas fees. <laughs> asking somebody, hey, can somebody yeah. send me just a little bit? Now with osmosis, they, they cover that. You don't need to worry about that. And that's that's huge value added to the whole ecosystem. I mean, and didn't osmosis kind of start the fair drop model of, you know, you yes. need, uh, the more the more you participate, the more you reward you get. Yes, yes, they did. Um, for Adam Stakers, they had a small, small drop. And if you would have done that fair drop and just started with whatever they gave you i think there was some ion there to have as well and from that you would have earned juno and you could have earned so many the reality is it's like a seed that would have brought more seeds and a bountiful harvest but it's not too late i mean the idea is that this ib and there are many videos and we're going to do a special video soon about maximizing ibc airdrops uh, but yeah this is this is osmosis is where people will come to come in and out of these different blockchains on the IBC that we were showing in the map of zones. And it's easy and staking yes. osmosis. And when you provide liquidity on their pools and they have a lot of rewards, they have a lot of rewards that they're offering all the time incentives to these mm -hmm. new blockchains that are coming on. I know it's loading right now, but when you provide liquidity, to these pools, they automatically pay it out to your wallet. You don't have to go claim it and forget right. about it. 
you come to this website and check and it will show you how much awesome every day you your balance system. will go up. Yeah. It's awesome. You could take it over and say, you know what? I want to have some more Adam or, or secret or Juno or Netta or whatever it is, Luna. And there you go. Stake it. Or you can go right to compound and stake it and take those rewards from what you stake. Yeah. And a few days later, and restake them and stake it again. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So we've talked now we also wanted to talk about Terra. Oh yeah, we we talked briefly about Secret. We talked about Secret. Well, we we'll, we have a lot of videos on that, but we we bring this up: privacy, layer one, osmosis, the premium, AMM decks, zero transaction fees, ultimate yep. access to the map of zones, IBC, and Juno is the interoperable smart contract. smart contract layer yeah. for the IBC that they're really uh, have they created Dow Dow right which is a yep. Dow tooling kit which is very That's good. right there are already Marvin else some things being built on there so this is young it's new innovative the IBC the market is really really fresh and there we can see a lot of potential for EVM whales or evm energy pent up value flowing right. into this new ecosystem of ever growing blockchains now we got to talk about terra luna the the uh one of the most innovative stable coin that is out there and i, I can't i don't have it in my head i guess we can go check out coin gecko but i know they've yeah. done well and, and we've they've talked done about very terra. well we've talked about in our stable coin i mean this is our one of our it's our favorite in yep. many ways, our favorite stable coins, the largest decentralized stable coin in blockchain. Should we do Terra? There we go, Luna. And yeah, I mean, talk about why you think this is doing so well right now. Well, I mean, it's it's an algorithmic stable coin. So there's a, a, a buy sell uh, mechanism that's oh, 63%. Wow. So as the demand for stable coins goes up, so does the demand for Luna. It's there's this relationship, and and clearly um, over the last thirty days, there's been a lot of interest in in, in UST because we're seeing a lots of uh, price action on Luna, and it's beautiful to see. And especially when the rest of the crypto space has been, like we said, so weak and so flat, and or down for that matter. And and Luna is has stable coins in not just ust they have access to stable coins in other national currencies as well so it's it's very innovative it's very valuable in these times right now when people are looking for more stability to get out of the volatile market yeah. when the markets seem to be getting ready to correct and price is going up this is where people look for safe haven you know, stable coins but stable coins that don't have <clears throat> counterparty risk you know what right. you remember back in 2017 20 the, for the last many years everyone wondering what's going to happen to tether what's going to happen to mm -hmm. usdc well you don't have to worry about that when it's a decentralized algorithmic stable coin i just i was wondering if anchor protocol would have had a drop in their apy considering there has to be people who are rushing you know to, to deposit usd and to earn that that yield and it's not it's still 19.45 so that's really that's interesting i'm glad to see that so yes congratulations to all those terra stakers and holders that's been a good it's been a good run for for the community and to your point um anchor there we go anchor protocol is one of one of the major dapps applications on whatever on Luna Terra, and they have an interest on stable coins. So this is not Bitcoin, Ethereum. You're not in the world of volatility in the different cryptocurrencies. This is taking digital assets, moving them into a UST, a, a digital dollar, no different than right. you can find on a credit card or a debit card or in a bank account. It's just, it's just a digital dollar. But here, in this decentralized bank on the Lunatary ecosystem, you are able to earn a 19.45% interest rate, which might just beat out inflation in your native, in your country. <laughs> Who Good. knows these days? Unless you're Russian. Unless you're Russian, it should. <laughs>
<laughs> these days. But either way, you know, uh, compared to what your banks and what you have out there in traditional markets, I'm sure you'll find that this is worth learning how to download a wallet. And no doubt. All that information for you. Um, now, we're going to do more information on another amazing protocol, the IBC persistence. But the reason why we have this up here right now, because as they have developed an amazing airdrop system to support the community, but they are also about interoperability and unlocking liquidity for staked assets, which is big in the IBC. That being said, you can find some of their handiwork. Was it on SushiSwap? Yeah, SushiSwap. You can find Adam. If you type in Adam, you'll see persistent staked Adam right there. there now, this is very new, but we're seeing the very beginning of the bridge, the bridge is rather, to the IBC. And this is a great example of it right here. So this is beautiful. Sushi Swap is one of the larger EVM AMM DEXs out there. I mean, they have access to a lot of different blockchains. Where it's cross chain. I think it's the most cross chain DEX in the EVM world. I don't. Uh, it's it's a lot. I know they were they were trimming it. There we go. Yeah, yeah. It's huge, huge. And Ethereum being the the largest, of course, you got Avalanche, Polygon, Phantom, Harmony, big big dogs. Buying a smart chain. So yeah. yes, now you also have access there. The people don't know it quite yet, but they're going to see a lot more persistence staked assets on here. I'm yes. sure. And I'm sure that we'll start seeing with Evmos and bridges to, right. to the map of zones, different blockchains. Juno will have bridges, I'm sure. Osmo, you know, we're going to see some really neat things happening. And if you want to stay abreast of these neat things happening, we've got playlists. We love talking we about do. secret network. Hey, one oh, before we do that, ahead. I want to just do one alfalfa for our audience. Go to the chat, go to the view chat, click on the link. I have a sweet spreadsheet that i think everybody's gonna love i know i love it and i want to link it to everybody it this is the cosmos airdrop oh okay so well, it, this is alfalfa because we have an airdrop video that we're about to do so you are getting a sneak peek into what we're about to drop in our next video also walk them through this that's true so we won't walk through it just yet but we'll just tease it tease it go ahead what's on here yeah well, that's it. That's the tease. Here it is. It's an, it's a spreadsheet with all the uh well the all the airdrops on the different chains and the dates and the the different uh, qualification standards or things you need to do the times the uh, the the uh, claim dates the snapshot dates all the information you need to uh, to take advantage of these airdrops and so yeah very cool resource. Well, now some of these have already have happened. So this is amazing, but, yeah. dude. This is great. Yeah, this is awesome. really is. It even has room. Oh man. Okay. Well, check it out. We're going to definitely we'll link it. We'll link this below. I mean, the teasers here. Well, we also have a, a special IBC airdrop to let you know who to follow on Twitter and on YouTube to stay abreast because there are so many airdrops happening in the IBC. Literally there's so much free crypto being dropped to those who participate, knowing how to get involved the sooner, the better. It's all about the education. So we'll link this below now on our oh whoops <laughs> let's get back to that's our another video. teaser <laughs> that's, another, that's, ah! <laughs> that's another teaser let me get back to, well oh shucks let's just stay here okay yeah we'll stay here uh, we'll stay here for now and this is the page we we're going to go out on anyway this is a play we have some playlists here that is a teaser we're going to move to bit shoot and uh look to decentralized applications for sharing the love and spreading awareness but right now while we're on youtube we've got playlists on secret nfts because the nfts that you can find on secret are completely unique they have utility and dynamics that you just can't find on any other evm chain so we go into the details of many of these why and how they work how to start your crypto journey if you're brand new to kepler we talk about validators what it means to stake secret or juno or osmosis and why, why you want to do your research into picking a validator, not only for your own reward benefits, but to support the growth of the communities. We've got crypto explainers where we actually walk you through and do live examples. So you see how it right. works. Watch, watch us fumble through it together. <laughs> Airdrops and opportunities. We talked about that. Many other crypto applications being built on secret that we love to talk about. 
and cryptonomics news perspectives. What do we have here? And the macro outlook. We do this uh, usually one or two times a week, depending on how quickly the news moves, which is faster than it ever has in the past, it seems. Where we, we uh, This is a series where we take a look at macro issues, um, supply chain issues, monetary policy, inflation, all the things that deal with the macro economy and draw conclusions for markets and crypto prices. So yeah, look out for the next one of those. Yep. And we do look, we look at the macro picture all over blockchain and crypto. There are opportunities everywhere. You can see a liked video over here with Richard Hart from Hex with the big Pulse Chain, Pulse X, largest airdrop incoming. We've talked about that. We'll continue to keep you abreast because, you know, with all that's happening in the market, you want to look for those projects that are going to be around one, two, or three years later. And right. when, when the markets consolidate and correct, many, many projects that were pumping during the bull markets, they just won't be around. They won't have the energy. But there are projects sure. that are more decentralized. There are projects that have more locked liquidity and are sticking to that blockchain crypto ethos and, and will make it out with strong communities on the other side. So hopefully we will uh, find those and continue to add value. And if you know about some of those communities and projects, drop in the comments because we all learn about this together. Indeed. Until the next well, time. Well, I think that covers it. Yeah. yeah. Have a beautiful day. Namaste, y'all. Thank you.